Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have a video on Syria's most mysterious warship, the El Assad. The El Assad is a mysterious Syrian auxiliary vessel that has been spotted off and on since the early 1990s. Now the ship is technically the largest vessel in the Syrian Navy, but it is rarely ever mentioned by anyone or any naval source when it comes to the ships that serve in the Syrian Navy. Its existence has only been observed, at least in the Western world, only in the last 10 years during the course of the Syrian conflict, although the ship has been around for over 30 years in terms of when she was built and entered service. Now the Al Assad is listed as a training vessel or an auxiliary training ship, but technically she is really a multi-purpose auxiliary type training vessel, landing ship, and troop transport ship that serves in the Syrian Navy at least since the 1980s. Now the ship originally was built in Poland as the cargo vessel El Khalid for export to Syria, and she was exported to Syria in 1989. But over the last 30 years, the ship has been slowly modernized and modified by the Syrians themselves. In Syria, they actually do build some of their own ships, mostly cargo vessels and small patrol boats. But this vessel here, El Khaled, was the largest ship to be modified by the Syrians. The ship has a maximum displacement of 7,191 tons, meaning she weighs over 5,000 tons more than the largest ship in the Syrian Navy, which are two old Soviet anti-submarine patrol vessels or patrol frigates. Uh, the ship's armament is actually unknown. The ship is so mysterious that no weapons or any kind of defensive weapons have not been mentioned neither by the Syrians nor even by the Russians who also have ships that are stationed in Syria. Now again, the ship is mostly used as a training vessel an auxiliary troop transport ship by the Syrian Navy, but she has also been modified to serve as a landing ship and an amphibious assault landing ship or landing vessel for the Syrian Naval Marines. She has a rear compartment which can hold at least a 10 to 20 amphibious assault rubber pontoon boats, or it could carry at least two of the Syrian Navy's small assault vessels. These are assault missile boats and assault patrol boats, or speed boats, that serve in the Syrian Navy. She also doubles as a mothership and command vessel for the Syrian Navy, and she could be used as a resupply vessel too if she is used to store fuel for other Syrian warships like the OSA-1 and OSA-2 class of missile boats that also serve in the Syrian Navy. Now going back to those amphibious assault vessels, the Soviet Union and later Russia has supplied Syria with at least a few hundred rubber pontoon assault boats that are used by the Syrian naval marines for amphibious landings, and the El Assad could carry at least a 10 to 20, if not more, of those vessels in her rear compartment. It also has a ramp to launch these vessels. She can also carry at least a two to four of the Iranian-made Tier 2, also known as the IPS-18 missile assault boats, or anti-ship missile boats, or anti-ship missile speed boats. These are Iranian-made 21-ton, very small missile boats, that are, or speed boats, that are fitted with two Iranian copies of the Chinese-made C-802 anti-ship missiles. These vessels are very small and are very compact and are designed to sink much larger ships like enemy frigates or corvettes, for example. She can also carry at least a two to four of the Russian-made Raptor class of amphibious assault and patrol vessels. These are Russian 20-plus ton vessels that were given to Syria in 2016. In 2016, Syria received at least two to four of the Russian Raptor class of amphibious assault and patrol vessels from the Russian Navy as replacement for many of the older Soviet vessels that were already decommissioned by the Syrian Navy before and during the Syrian Civil War. Again, she also acts as a mothership for the other vessels in the Syrian Navy like the OSA-1 and OSA-2 class of missile boat, the Zook class of naval patrol craft, and the Iranian-made MiG-S-1800 class of anti-ship and patrol the catamaran which were produced in Iran since the 2000s. And that's kind of it, as there's not much 
on this ship that has been mentioned by any naval historian. It is the most mysterious vessel in the Syrian Navy, and it's also one of the older vessels technically as she was built during the late Cold War period in Poland and has been heavily modified by the Syrians ever since she entered service in the late 80s and early 1990s. At least once or twice a year, the ship is overhauled in Egypt. Now for a while, Egypt was kind of a pro-US ally and was a Syrian ally during the Cold War, but has become more of a pro-US ally, but still remains, maintains relationships with Syria to this very day. And that's basically it. This is the history, or at least all I could find, on the mysterious Syrian auxiliary training ship slash troop transporter slash landing ship slash amphibious assault vessel and mothership, the El Assad, built in Poland in 1988 and has been modified slowly by the Syrians since the early 1990s. So what do you all think of this rare and mysterious Syrian warship? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.